Here's a live view over Honda of Lincoln. Not much to see. A little bit of a different scene uh, last night when that light rain was moving on through, but dry as a bone over uh, satellite and radar imagery right now. There's uh, absolutely nothing to see. I, I wish there was a little bit of rain because we could certainly use uh, more of it. Uh, Stormcast 10 o'clock tonight. Mostly clear skies. Uh, winds are finally starting to transition out of the east and southeast. We'll see more of that southerly component to the wind going overnight and into tomorrow morning, likely seeing southwesterly winds early Sunday. Waking up to mostly clear skies. I think there's a chance we may see some patchy fog in a few areas, so don't be surprised if you encounter some of that early tomorrow morning. Uh, but any fog that does develop will burn off for the afternoon. Uh, sunny skies, in fact, at many hours uh, tomorrow, I think we could see wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, so we have something to look forward to there. Uh, off towards the west, uh, late tomorrow afternoon and evening, we could be watching some showers and thunderstorms developing in the panhandle, but these are going to have a really hard time moving off towards the east. Uh, they may try to uh, make a run towards North Platte, maybe uh, out towards uh, McCook, uh, near uh, Red Willow and Hitchcock counties, uh, but they're probably not going to get too much uh, farther east. Uh, Lincoln is not going to see this rain uh, anytime tomorrow night. Uh, so for tonight, 66 degrees, clear skies. Again, maybe that patchy morning fog. Uh, winds on the lighter side. For Monday, 94 degrees. It's a warmer afternoon. Sunny skies. Uh, we're staying dry. Should be a little bit humid as well. Winds out of the south and southwest, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Continue the warming trend into Tuesday. Mostly sunny skies, 97 degrees, but slightly cooler and less humid on Wednesday. You'll notice that lower humidity there. We've got a cold front passing on Tuesday. That's going to usher in that less humid air mass. We'll track that with Stormcast Tuesday morning. The front is off towards the west, uh, pushing through the Tri-Cities. Sometime Tuesday afternoon, that front's going to slide through Lincoln. But you didn't see too much in terms of uh, green on this uh, Stormcast run because I don't think we're going to see too much rainfall. Maybe some cloud cover along with it. Uh, and the reason for that is we've got an area of warm air moving in between five and 15,000 feet, something we call a cap. Uh, these are temperatures uh, right around 10,000 feet. These greens are cooler temperatures. These oranges are warmer temperatures, and those oranges start to overspread the area heading in towards Tuesday, creating that cap. Uh, if you're a little confused at what the cap is, well, let's talk about that a little bit more. They help suppress thunderstorm activity. On a normal day, when we have unstable air, it'll rise in, it can form a thunderstorm, but then when that warm air layer starts to enter the picture, when this warm air starts to rise, uh, it cools and either reaches the air temperature of this warm layer or is slightly cooler and as a result it won't uh, punch through this warm air layer. When that happens, if there's enough moisture, you can get a couple clouds, but it doesn't grow into shower and thunderstorm activity and I anticipate this will probably be the case on Tuesday. So we're keeping the forecast dry on Tuesday for now. We'll watch it closely, but uh, I'm doubtful we'll see much in terms of meaningful rainfall. So 97 on Tuesday, 93 on Wednesday. Still warm, but noticeably less humid there on Wednesday. Remember that. Uh, warming up on Thursday, humidity starting to return uh, 97 degrees there. 99 on Friday, starting to introduce some isolated storm chances into the picture. You'll see them kind of every day starting Friday. We don't really have a good sense of the details right now because it is several days away. However, uh, the upper air pattern does seem to support some type of shower thunderstorm activity on an isolated basis. Of course, we'll fine tune those details as we get closer to it, but dry for now, maybe starting to see some more storm activity late this week into the weekend and next week. You know,